what's going on everyone being here back for another video uh so i want to talk about accountability um, reason being is that if you've been following me uh, you know and understand that i have been seeking legal resolution in regards to dealing with air property and my family and others who uh you know choose to not follow Proper protocol, procedure, the bylaws, rules, and laws, as well as work with everyone, uh, regardless of their their feelings, their thoughts, their opinions, and everything else that um, will at least come to the table, um, whatever that table is. Uh, come, you know, the table could be a meeting, come to the meetings uh, with an open mind um, and and listening as well as accepting everybody's input suggestion idea and not doing things to benefit only them and theirs theirs being their family members and others that 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 have the same kind of energy and mindset as they do um, but you know at the same time restricting others from really voicing their opinion uh, because they don't agree with it or doesn't fit their agenda doesn't fit their their ideas as how things should be done in, regards to the air property which has led to you know this point the third lawsuit brought by me and my mother um and trying to resolve the legal issues trying to finally put to bed the question as to who are heirs who is not heirs who are rights to one live in the land utilize the land be part of the management team uh, and have their voices heard um and basically participating participate in the management process and decision-making process by way of the board, uh, you know? So the board should not be acting in a way that uh, violates somebody's rights to the property, um, especially if their their interests and rights to the property should be protected through legal means, um, even by default, but just to be an heir to property uh, because of who their uh, parents were or are to include, you know, they're, they're basically they're able to trace their leanings back to original owners' property, therefore they are heir by default, even though there is no official documentation that says otherwise. But that's, that's the ultimate purpose. But, you know, um, I'm going to talk about accountability, as well as give an update to where we're at with this, where I'm at with this case, how I see this case going, um, based on the current events, things that are, that are happening behind the scenes, I tried to move this case to the court um, so we can find some kind of resolution. Uh, so you see my video where I give my my thoughts on how the meeting went. That took place on March 25th, 2013, or sorry, 2023, uh, about two months ago, uh, nearly two months ago. And um, since then, uh, in April, uh, mid-April, I received by way of my lawyer um, the board's interrogatories and discoveries now, or request for production on its discovery. So basically, they're interrogatories or questions for me to answer. Um, and the request for production is basically them requesting for me to produce documentation to uh, use in their defense um, or their counterclaim against me and my mother. Which is fine because I've served them excuse me, back in November of 2022, interrogatories and discovery or request for documentation. But um, they answered the interrogatories um, and they have produced documentation. However, they have not provided all uh, that we requested. So, nonetheless. Uh, so, and I've been working working on those those interrogatories and, and requests for production um, and, and recently just another version was sent to my lawyer, the final version I did is to use to, to uh, send to their, their attorney be in compliance with the request. Uh, but as I was going on at the same time, um, my lawyer, about, you know, I had my lawyer follow an ex, an ex, let me try to get it right now, an ex parte uh, emergency uh, order um, to restrain the the members on the board and, and everyone else, um, their family members and, and, and those that can be the heirs or are heirs or 
couldn't have rights to this property, to bar them, restrict them, and bar them from conducting business, uh, any further business until this is resolved. Uh, so, you know, entering hunting leases or income leases, per se, hunting leases, tight and timber, expenditure of money, uh, as well as any kind of meetings that all cease and desist. But we have a hearing scheduled for Monday, I think it's the 22nd. Yeah, Monday, 22nd, 2023. So today's date is uh, May 18th, 2023. Uh, so I may give an update um, to how things went with that hearing. And hopefully things will be in our favor. Hopefully things will be in our favor, meaning that courts see that there needs to be some kind of resolution that yep, the things that are doing are in violation of one, the cease and desist letter, the complaint that was served upon them, and other things that were I'll say things as in um, legal action that was that was that was taken or tried to be taken to um, strict things from happening while there is a dispute going on um because we going back to august of 2022 there was a motion or a motion filed as they say for a hearing to restrain them from entering any kind of uh, leases and timber and and of money and everything else however the the judge that was presiding over that hearing um did not feel comfortable in issuing an order until all facts were presented to the court. Uh, at least that's my interpretation of, of that. Um, so, and, and then we did file a another motion, um, but due to scheduling conflicts and everything else, um, that didn't happen. But now this is happening. Now there's a hearing scheduled uh, for Monday, May twenty second, two thousand twenty three. So. Hopefully this is the one because, you know, going back to 2011 and even uh, 2017, when I was uh, part of the, you know, also to bring forth quite a title to the, the property, um, there was orders issued, you know, to, to basically do that, to restrict money being spent, restrict hunting rights, to restrict cutting of timber, to restrict moving trails on property or building on a property or whatever case may be. Um, cause we're, we're middle of litigation, right? And so, you know, it, it was, it was okay. But now that there's more parties involved, I'm trying to bring, bring closure to everything. Um, so there, it's proven to be more complicated than just, um, the cases that were the case from 2011 and the case from 2017. That's where we at. So, you know, I did submit to my lawyer, the, Responses to the inter interrogatories and request for reduction, um, but now the judge, presiding judge, who was a judge who presided over other um, hearings um, from 2011 and maybe 2017, signed the order, um, um, basically calling forth all parties, all the defendants at the end of the case, come forward show cause, show why they should not be held in contempt, show why they should not have an order against them in the whole nine yards. So again, this is going to happen on May 22nd, 2023. Um, this is going to be a virtual hearing, so basically it um, won't be in person, but it'll be online and dial in to the hearing to take your case and make your arguments by way of the lawyer. And, but yet there's individuals who are representing themselves so they uh i think it's called pro se per se pro se um it's the actual terminology used means oneself right um i think that's a, the the translation of their translation uh, i think it's, it's latin for oneself or for thyself or something like that. but that's when you don't have a lawyer it's just you in the court um arguing making arguments for yourself and, and what's important to know that the individuals that are that are without a lawyer do not represent another person without a lawyer. So we can't say, well, I'm 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 speaking on behalf of my sister or my brother. No, it can't do that. That brother and sister has to speak upon themselves unless they are incapacitated. And then there has to be some kind of legal document file to say that, yeah, I'm speaking on behalf of them because they're incapacitated or they don't have any 
because they suffer from dementia or whatever case may be, they're hospitalized or whatever case may be. That's 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 my understanding of how it speaks. So, uh, if, and if you don't show up, they don't show up, then that's on them. Then they're in, they're in either default or the the their their voices will not be heard. They'll be put in silence at that point. That might be a good thing because it might mean that the court can rule in my favor. And there's, there's individuals that are not in compliance, fully compliant, um, in regards to orders, in regards to complaints, in regards to the cease and desist letter, in regards to me submitting away my lawyer, my attorney, um, the interrogatories and requests for production, meaning that they did not provide an answer or they didn't provide documents that were requested. Or both, right? Um, so again, it might be in our favor, a little favor pull for favor pull on us versus them, but they have the right to have their voices heard and come before it and state their case. So that's where we at. Um, but I, I want to really get into it, talking about accountability. Um, so all that said, that you know, me following the complaints, following the cease and desist letter. Uh, filing motions to restrain the board and anybody else from conducting business on behalf of the estate um, until this is resolved. Um, there's a lot of behind the scenes commentary going on, a lot, a lot behind a lot of scenes of, of people talking and spreading false information lies, such as you, know, you see my video where I went on a rant, I called a rant about how. Uh, it's spreading a lie that I'm trying to sell this land to Walt Disney World for $25 million. Or you know, is a is the land really valued at $5 million? You know, what's the true value of the air property? Uh, so I put th that kind of information um, because it's part of the facts. It's part of it's part of the argument. It's part of the case that hey, these individuals are not doing things proper. You know, they they making these false allegations. They're 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 saying this at a third as to try to discredit me and my mother or or try to put family members the family members against me and my mother as to say that why are they doing this so they're they're bitter and petty they're they're liars or they're just not a third you know all this negative slander negative attitudes and mindsets and making derogatory comments in order to uh deflect and cause blame towards or great blame towards us or that this is wrong because we're family. Why family doing this? You're supposed to be family, but you know, even bringing up God, God in prayer to it, you know. But yet, on the flip side of that is that they're the ones causing the strife because that they don't see no wrong in their interactions, you know. And the same can be said about me and my mother that, hey, maybe we don't see no wrong, but if we're trying to resolve the issues, how is that wrong? Because if we could do this among ourselves as family members, we wouldn't be in this situation. If everybody was following the rules and following the laws, we would not be in this situation. And I'm not the first one to said it. There's other members of my family who said it before me, who, who, who knew what was going on back in 2006, 2008, 2010, even during the, the five year span from 2011 to 2015, and yet didn't come to court, didn't, didn't, didn't come to the defense of their family members to be that that key witness for the end of all the uh, behind the scenes infighting and, and everything else. And finger pointing and phone nine yards. It could have been easily done and resolved if people would have came to testify or show up to court or show up to meetings to say, hey, this is wrong. You shouldn't be doing this. This is how it's supposed to be done. Based on rule of order, rule of law, based on the bylaws, based on proper procedure, whatever case would be. But that's been done. So you know, I say to say that that uh, people are trying to avoid accountability. They don't want to be held accountable. You know, case of point of moving trailers on a property, entering hunting rights or hunting leases, trying to cut timber, you know, spending money, but yet they say, "Well, you, Cliff, did this too. Or you did that." I'm like, I'm here to say, prove it. If I violated a rule of law, prove it. Present your evidence, not just me saying it. Or using using correspondence between me and you or somebody else in an email and a, and a text message or or a case may be that shows that I am doing something or to say oh oh yeah yeah right here you admitted to this 
okay, let's discuss it in court. Let's see if it's true. All right? Those, yeah, those are my words. But let's see if what I said is true, or my your interpretation of what I said is to be true. Let's see in court. Especially when there's there's stack of documents that says otherwise. Let's see it. You know, you can't say that. Well, you spent money, Cliff, to do this on third, but yet we why can't we do it? Because there's rules and laws. And I didn't violate any rules and laws. If I did, show me where I violated rules and law. Show me where I acted out of turn. Show me where I violated proper protocol, especially when there's other individuals that are part of that management team. Again, I was one of the managers on the property. Right? I was put in a position by the court based on agreements that are made in open court. So at no point in time did I violate anything. I didn't act alone in it. But according to them, or to the members of the board and everybody else that I violated or I I did this based on their interpretation, based on what they heard or based on what they think they know. Right? Through, through conversation, through email, text correspondence, right? Email, text messages, uh, phone calls, documentation, whatever case may be. Again, let's prove it. Let's, let's see. Let's see if what you're saying is true. But you, you do all that to, in my opinion, to avoid being held accountable for their actions. Why is that? I don't know. Who wants to be brought before the court to be held accountable for their actions? So who wants to wear that egg in their face? Who wants to uh, be looked upon in, in a negative way because of what they seem to have done wrong? Right? Right? But everybody deserves a day in court. But, you know, uh, I talk about behind the scenes. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of behind the scenes commentary going on in, in email. So, now, this stems from me following the, by way of my lawyer, following the motion to the ex parte to temporarily strain um, the board from conducting business and everybody else from conducting business or taking kind of actions to, to spend money to get your hunting rights, uh, cutting timber, hold on yards. So, there's one guy who's someone supposed to be an heir to property, had this uh, invested interest in the property, says that this is exactly what the enemy wants. This is an email now. Divide and conquer his oldest trick in a book. It's really sad. And he puts a sad face emoji in there. But he will not succeed. So my response was that to, to his email. Who is the enemy? How is he doing the oldest trick in a book to fight and conquer? It's sad that it's sad that you and everyone is silent when my name, my mother's name, and our character are being attacked. But you come here talking about the enemy. When someone's trying to do right or is doing right. It is then when people start hating and spewing negative, derogatory comments and false allegations. People are showing their true colors, just like your brother talking about some nigga shit. Let's see what the court would say about all this behind the scenes commentary. Y'all talk shit about me and my mother, curse us out, and then want to bring up God in prayer. I would bet money that all of this running off at the mouth would not be happening if my grandmother had he other elders were still alive. Anyway, say what you want. I look forward to pressing play on the audio slash video recordings and showing the evidence in court of who said what and did what. I will have my day in court. There was a large majority of people in your family and others who are not included in these emails. Let's see what they will say. No response. No response. See, he can dish out. He can dish it out. It's not these mass emails, right? But yet, I've never seen this man come to a meeting. He was not at the. He was not at the meeting in, in March twenty fifth of twenty twenty three. He was not there. He might have dialed in virtually, but he was not at the meeting. He was not there. So again, yeah. run to the mountain, saying this at a third, but yet, ain't man enough, ain't brave enough to step to me to approach me front me hmm. but I want to send out mass emails because they don't understand they don't agree you got to I don't have to so like I don't have to agree but I'm gonna handle my, I'm gonna conduct myself a certain type of way I'm gonna carry myself a certain type of way I'm not gonna sit there and come there with attitude and disrespect but me asking a question me confronting the board on hey are you doing things proper is 
well within my rights. Because when I was a manager, that's how they that's how they carried themselves in there with on with 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 false allegations and, and finger pointing and everything else and questioning me. Okay, I'm not flipping script on y'all. I'm not reciprocating the same negative attitude that you showed to, um, um, towards me and my mother. But I'm gonna ask some questions. I'm gonna resolve this in court because if we if we could resolve this amongst ourselves in meetings, we wouldn't be in a situation. It comes down to it. Let's hold people accountable. Matter of fact, there's, I want to read these letters that was sent from a cousin to the board right prior to the first lawsuit. Right? The talks in here. This is about the previous letter that I've sent out to which there hasn't been a response from people it was addressed to. It has been acknowledged that this letter has been received, although there hasn't been a response. It was said that the letter received appeared to be one that was nasty. That was not my intention. To sound nasty, nor did I intend the letter to be a threat. I have attempted to be reasonable and respectful to all concerned, but I, in bold letters now, bold fonts, I will not let negative rumors be passed on to the community. Families, community member, or any to the Wash James heirs, stop me, again in bold letters, stop me from exercising my rights to know what is going on, going on concerning the management of the finance and other business being conducted without, again, bold letters, bold font, all rightful heirs participating in the decision making in which we have been denied. Right. Please respond to the first letter and again, bold font. I'm asking that an election to be held to include any person interested to take on these responsibilities. I hope this will give everybody the opportunity to be involved. Sign and date it. By the same cousin who partnered with the PDQ, the PD Genealogy Society charter or chapter, what you call it, uh, that drafted the article on history of Washington's plantation, the Washington James estate, the Washington James and his, his family. Same cousin now, the same cousin at the meeting, dialed in via Zoom and says that, oh, the property doesn't need to be surveyed and the property doesn't need, we don't need to have the property surveyed, you know, that we don't need this at a third when it comes to cutting timber. Okay, the same cousin now. Yeah, the same cousin didn't go to court or help support his family members and show up to court to help testify to help resolve the legal issue. I always got something to say. Doesn't want to follow the rules and laws or says he, hey, things to be done properly, but yet comes with a different attitude, different mindset when it comes towards the meetings and how things are supposed to be done. But kind of scenes, oh, it's a different story. Again. So another letter he that he sent. I'm not sure what date of this letter is. He gave me all this information. He sent this to me at the beginning of the, the legal action that I was part of in 2017. Here it is. We must identify ourselves as heirs. We need to know who is responsible and accountable for the estate's management. The estate's, not the state, the estate management. Where are the recorded minutes from past, present chairperson to include financial records, all bank records? We do not know which bank hold our account statement as well as the location of the bank. Not since Tommy Nolan, Jake James Sr. and Melvin Brown, which is basically he came to my grandmother. She said, hey, Jake right, was a president. Tommy Nolan was a vice president. And Melvin, Melvin Brown, which is her brother, is my grand uncle. Right. She, her being my grandmother and being my grand uncle, my, my mother's uncle. It means Business has been a close and private to all involved, not including all the heirs. Recently, the estate lawyer sent a letter to all known party previously holding the estate bank book and records. They were asked to turn all records, bank information to Robert Hunter, right? Um, Robert Hunter, Jake James Jr. They have refused to cooperate or, or meet with them to explain why they refused to turn over the records. Again, this is a letter that he wrote. This is the exact same thing as I've been doing. Asking for the records. Asking for this. Asking for people to be in compliance with doing this proper. Who are the heirs? 
who has rights to the property, who has rights to manage the property. And he goes on to say, there's no reliable leaders. There's no responsible leaders. There's no accountable, right? Accountable leaders. There's no approachable leaders. There it is. I don't even know what year this that he wrote this, but again, had to be prior to 2008 or could it be even 2010, 2011? Some of the language is, is similar to, well, I think this, we're talking about the lawyer, the estate lawyer sent a letter to all known parties previously holding the estate bank book and records. So that had to be in 2010, 2009, 2010. Yep, April, April 24, 2009, as when a, a attorney sent a letter to to the previous board members, or to the elderly ladies that served me as a manager, prior to that, prior to them being being parties in a case against me, my family, using them a conversion conspiracy. But it's addressed to them from my lawyer. Here it is. I have it. So I had to be 2008, 2000. Well, actually, take it back. 2009, 2010. Here it is, here are the letters. But yet, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm causing problems, right? I'm the enemy. I'm trying to conquer, divide and conquer. Or whatever the enemy the gentleman was referring to in the email. And it's about accountability. Hold people accountable for their actions. Not hiding behind an email, it's not a mass email to spew False information, false allegations, misinformation, I'm just credit trying to attack because you don't agree with the way things are going on. That you're that the first order of business or their the response is to be negative or to assume that 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 the actions carried on by me and my mother or that of negative. That we're, that, we're, that we don't want them to get along, that we are causing strife against family. Against the community, are we? You know, when I when I was one of the managers, and after order was signed in, in March in 2020, so months later, it's like September, October, November, December 2020, and one of the individuals who was not a party in the case, but claimed to have an interest in property that he by some way with a cousin or part of the estate by way of the whatever. He said to me, he made, he made a quote uh, by some famous person or, or, or known author or whoever says, get into good trouble. Let people talk. When you're trying to do the right things, you're gonna have people that are gonna push back. They're gonna not agree. They're not gonna see it. They're not gonna understand it. But get into good trouble. I'm going to get into good trouble. I'm going to resolve this. Me and my mother are going to resolve this. Because again, I said in the email, none of this bring off the mouth talking shit about me and my mother because out of our name would be happening if my grandmother was alive and the elders were alive. My grandma didn't play. And the, and the, and, and the individuals who are right there with my grandmother, the same age as my grandmother, same generation my grandmother, and their children, and maybe members of her family, like her, it's a nephew, great niece and nephew, her siblings, children, living children, and others in the community respected my grandmother. They knew of my grandmother. My grandmother was a was a force to be reckoned with, like most grandmothers are. She was a she was a backbone of the family, right? She was a staple in their family. She held the family together. Now that she's gone, here we are. That yeah, she has more give and go, more determination. Right? Heard in the video. If you watch it, you can watch that video when I'm asking questions in front of her children, in front of her sister and brother in law, the living siblings to her husband, to my grandfather who is deceased, died in 2000. One, and she survived him ten years, twenty years longer than he did. Twenty years, yeah. So, 2000, 2020, she died. 
19 years longer. She lived 19 years longer than him. And here we are. As soon as the elders died off, her and her sister died off. Where are we at with this? I got, I got cousins who are cousins to her. So I'm the third cousin, their first cousin. My grandmother and my cousin are first cousins. The living great grandchildren. Or sorry, so you got Hubby Cox, Papa Sam, Grandma Golda, my grandmother. So, child, grandchild, great grandchild. So you got the living great grandchildren of Toby Cox. Where's the rights to the property at? I'm protecting their rights to the property. I'm protecting my family members' rights to the property. And those that are supposed to be heirs to the property, I'm protecting their rights, but yet they want to come forth and be a part of it. You heard in the letter, what he say? We need to know who the heirs are. We must provide evidence to who we are, who they are, who, the, who are the heirs. We need, we need, we need accountable leaders. We need leaders that are gonna be respectful and be approachable. Notice I digress. I've been talking long enough. That's where we are right now. So I may do a follow up uh, video, uh, write my thoughts on how the the hearing went, uh, which will take place Monday. 22nd of May 2023. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for to rock with me, staying with me, and, and following me. Uh, give this video a like. Share, subscribe to my channel if you're new to this channel. Um, thank you so much and uh, take care. Peace.